Hey everybody, it's Steve. Did you know that you can take your laser cube and run it along with your DMX lights and control them both from just one app? There's actually a few different ways you can do it, but in this video, I want to show you how you can update the firmware in your laser cube to make it an eight channel DMX ArtNet device, and then show you an app called SoundSwitch that has a profile already in it to run the laser cube, and then finally show how your lights and your laser cube can run together easily in one synchronized light show. Okay, the first thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that you're in Wi-Fi server mode by pressing this button. And also, make sure that you've downloaded the latest ArtNet firmware and resource file from the link in the description below or Wicked Laser's website. Then you want to connect to your LaserCube's network and then enter this into your browser and log in to the LaserCube. Now you're going to hit this update tab and you're going to choose first the resource file. You're going to upload it into the cube. It takes just a bit of time. Log in again. You're going to choose the resource file. You're going to upload it. Log in again. Now you're going to see this tab that says ArtNet, and it's going to show you something called an offset, which is basically the DMX starting address. When it's set to zero, it's a starting address of one. And when you hit the button on the back, you'll see that your ArtNet enabled now. Okay, now that the laser cube is an ArtNet device, you can control it with eight DMX channels. So channel one is a dimmer control. Channel two controls the zoom. And channel three, you can select different patterns depending on the value that you're sending. Let's skip channel four for a second. Channel five is a strobing function. So in the lower values, it's a very fast strobe. In the higher values, slower strobing. And channel four is a control function that does a couple different things. But when you set it to a value of one, now you have control of the red on channel six, the green on channel seven, and the blue on channel eight. And you can combine those different colors in any combination to create custom mono colors. SoundSwitch is a really cool app that's designed for DJs and musicians, and it's an easy way to create light shows. You just need this USB to DMX interface that uh, SoundSwitch sells and a subscription to their app, which starts about $8 a month. And once you have it all set up and going, you make sure that your lights are properly addressed. I've got four PARs that are set up in this, each of four channels. I've got the first one at a starting address of nine. And I should point out, there are some really great tutorials on YouTube for sound switch. This is just how I've been using it with the laser cube. I'm gonna open up a piece of music. And when I open it up, it has a light show that SoundSwitch created automatically. I just imported the audio and clicked this auto button and it generated this light show and I'll give you a little preview of it. It analyzes the waveform and it knows what lights you have. And so it just creates a light show that's synchronized to the audio. And it's actually really, really cool that it can do this. So let's add the laser cube to this. First, let's go back into the matrix and we want to search for laser cube. 
and it comes right up, Cube 2 Artnet. We'll double click on it. It's going to put it at a starting address of 1, which is exactly what we want, but we could move it. We're going to leave it with a starting address of 1. So now that it's set up, we're going to come down to these attribute queues, and we're going to press plus. We're going to create an attribute queue, double click on it. We're going to pick the cube, and now here we can set the zoom, and we can create a pattern. Let's see. Let's pick this one. I'm going to hit apply, and then we can name that circles. And it's that easy to create an attribute queue with the laser cube. Let's create another one. Press, double click. Let's pick a different pattern. Oh, that's crazy. Let's pick that one. We'll call it crazy. If we want to make this easier, we also can duplicate that queue. So when we double click on it, it's already going to have a lot of the parameters already set for us. Okay, so now we have these three attribute queues, and we can create as many as we want, obviously. And we're going to take these flags, and we're going to drag them to the timeline. So let's zoom in a little to this section, and we'll take circles. And let's, let's drag it in there, and then we'll drag crazy in here. Drag sine wave to here. Do a couple more. You can move these cues just by dragging the side of them. And if you really want to get accurate, you can zoom way in. And position them exactly where you want. Okay, now we have a few cues there. Let's see. Let's see how this works. <laughs> every time it hits the flag, it triggers that pattern on the cube. And you can select them all and delete them and start over. And that's how you add laser cube patterns synchronized to DMX lights using the app Sound Switch. Now let's see how everything looks running together. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.